So here we have an integral from negative 1 to 1 of x squared minus x over x dx. So integrals can often have a lot of different ways that you can approach the problem, but whenever I see a problem with a fraction that the numerator has more than one term and the denominator has only one term, I'll use the strategy of separating into separate terms first, because it's easier to take the integral when each term is, is an independent individual term. So let's do some simplification first. If we have x squared minus x divided by x, we can write each term over the denominator individually. So this is like subtracting fractions but backwards. So I'll write this as x squared over x is the first term and then minus x over x is the second term. Okay, so all of this has your dx on it. From here we can simplify. Oops. And we can write x squared over x would simplify. That would be x times x on top, so one of the x's will cancel to make x. And then anything over itself is 1. So that would be x minus 1 dx. Now, now that we have each individual term separated, we can take our integral. So I'm going to use the power rule, the power rule formula, which is if you have the integral of x to the n, it's not writing correctly, x to the n dx, we write that as, when we take the integral, it's x, we add one to our power, divide by the new power, and then a plus c for our indefinite integral. So using this rule, our x to the power with nothing written is an invisible one, so we'll add one to the power to make it two, divide by the new exponent, which is two, and then for the second term, it's minus, so we'll bring down the minus. The integral of one we can think of 1 as having an x to the power of 0 right next to it. So that would be add 1 to 0 would be 1. So that makes 1x to the power of 1 divided by the new exponent, which is 1. And now we need to evaluate that from negative 1 to 1. And simplifying, we can make this x squared over 2 minus, we don't have to write all these ones, so it would just be minus x, evaluated from negative one to one. From here for our definite integral, we can plug in, we start by plugging in the top number, so that makes, in for x, so that makes one squared is one over two minus one, and then we'll plug in, and then we'll subtract plugging in the bottom. So that would be negative 1 squared, which is also 1 over 2, minus negative 1. Okay, and simplifying this, we can just drop our parentheses or our brackets. 1 half minus 1 minus, this would be negative 1 squared is positive 1, so it would be minus 1 half then this would be minus a negative is also a plus. Distribute that negative in makes minus 1. So our 1 half and our negative 1 half will cancel, and then negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So don't forget to distribute your negative into your parentheses or your brackets so that you get the right um, term there. Okay, well I hope this homework helped step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, feel free to like the channel and subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos. If you would like to see a particular um, solution, step-by-step -step solution, leave that, leave your question in the comments or if it's a picture and it's difficult to leave in the comments, send that to the email that's down in the description and I'll do my best to get that video up for you as soon as I can. Well, thanks for watching and happy studies.